data ingestion and data pipelines. They are the foundation for your data-driven approach. But how to develop and deploy all your pipelines quickly and easily from collecting, transforming, and manipulating to synchronizing your data. Ido Friedman, he's the CTO at Qualum. He's here to talk us through all the latest developments. Welcome, Ido. Hello. I see many companies struggle with building data pipelines quickly, and especially for streaming data. What kind of challenges do you see when companies come for the first time to you? Uh, so we see um, many challenges around uh, two areas. Uh, one area, the first area uh, that people uh, introduce to us is how do I maintain my development efforts and how do I deploy my, my, uh, my changes uh, at ease and with simplicity? The other area is how do I productionize everything and how do I get things running in production without too many issues? Uh, I think it really depends on the, the actual pipelines that you are looking at. Uh, a good example would be CDC that has two parts of it. And the first part would be loading an initial data set uh, from a source to a target and then implementing the same logic on the changes that occur after that. Uh, and we see a lot of effort around how would you maintain that logic on those two parts, as well as how would you productionize that type of a flow that has multiple parts into a single uh, pipeline that does the whole thing. Uh, we, in the product itself, we provide a lot of efforts and a lot of tools to uh, deal with versioning of flows, as well as changes like schema automation and other aspects uh, regarding CDC and other types of flow, including even supporting uh, automation on similar objects like replication. We provide a lot of uh, tooling around that to make the work much easier. And you explained about both the data pipeline creation and the maintenance as the biggest challenges. How do these current trends, like for example, the acceleration of digital transformation and related the movement to the cloud for many, many companies, how do these impact these data pipelines? Uh, I think uh, th th there is one significant effect we see in the last uh, year. Uh, I think because everybody's working from home and everybody is uh, much aware uh, on cloud and data in the cloud, I think that security has become sort of a part of any development effort. It doesn't really matter what you develop. Everybody has become very much security oriented. And we see a lot of uh, requests around that area like encryption and maintaining the data correctly from source to end whether it is cloud or not uh, we see a lot of efforts around uh, cloud adoption and the way you take data from your on-prem to the cloud uh, and there are sort of two trends where you see people adopting cloud as an extended uh, data center while others uh, take the approach of getting rid of their on-prem deployments. And in both cases, we've seen CDC uh, as an in, a real enabler of how do I take my data that I already have and put it in the cloud without interfering and without making a lot of efforts for a lot of teams to get the data synchronized. So I would say security and synchronizing the data to the cloud to allow cl the cloud to be an extension is a really big thing that we've seen in the last uh, year or more. And maybe we can go a little bit more in depth. So you work with many different companies that ingest real-time data. Can you share some of the use cases and, and maybe specifically like how these enterprises sync their operations, but also how they define which pipelines have the most value and have the highest priority? Um, I, th I think that one thing we definitely saw in the last few months is that sort of real-time uh, ingestion and real-time analytics, which used to be sort of uh, something you aspire to but never got to, it, it sort of changed to something that everybody wants to be in and, and are willing to invest into that. And we've seen a lot of organization uh, going away from batch-type flows and batch type uh, uh, analysis of data and going towards streaming uh, with a lot of uh, uh, mindset into that and, and are willing to invest a lot of time into that. 
And we have seen quite a few organizations actually uh, using the real-time data to get real-time analysis. Um, we have uh, quite a few customers doing real-time all the way to their dashboards. Uh, and I've seen customers saying that we are no longer willing to accept hours of delay uh, on the CEO level report. We want to get minutes. And we've seen a lot of adoption of streaming that was quite surprising to us because uh, prior, prior years sort of said, I, I will do streaming where I can, but it's not a must, it, it would be nice. In the last few months, even more than that, uh, we've seen people saying streaming is my goal and I will do everything that is required to get data into my reports as soon as possible, all the way up to us uh, processing uh, all up cubes as part of our flows to get the data inside the actual reports ready to be consumed as soon as possible. Yeah, one last question. What can we expect in the near future? Um, are there any trends that you can share? Uh, so I think uh, we saw one trend that was very interesting for us, and we actually added a few features around it. Uh, we saw a lot of organizations combining the efforts of data science and data engineers into one. And by that I mean is a data scientist usually does a lot of ETL and data engineering by itself, by himself, and he would like to get sort of the assistance of the data engineer. And instead of doing that as two separate processes that one follows another, we actually implemented a very uh, unique feature in our flows that allows a data scientist to, to have a Jupyter Notebook type application on the actual flow while it's being developed. And the actual goal there is to have two people developing a pipeline together. That means that the data engineer would implement the logic needed to digest and, and transform the data, while the data scientist gives the, ben the, uh, the inputs and the insights of how the data should look after a section in um, the data pipeline. So we see that as a very interesting trend of combining those efforts into one. Thank you, Ido, for all these details, these new trends and the developments in the domain of data integration. For the audience, thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.